Hello everyone, Fiddlin' Pancakes here, and today for Miscellaneous Monday we will be playing Call of Juarez. Uh, something, something, something. Uh, this is Call of Juarez, some, something, something, and we're gonna play it. I forgot what the other part of it's called. Whatever. Story. Normal. Uh, I guess we'll look at the story, even though it's gonna be like three parts. Abilene, Kansas, 1910. I was on my horse, looking for groceries. Easy, boy. Sorry. Everyone was super old in the 1910s. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Big old beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. Jesus Christ, I'm Molly. Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair-trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. So, I may... I don't know if I will do it. I probably will. Um, I probably flipped those cutscenes so YouTube doesn't detect them, because when they do detect them, and then they do stuff, and then you can't watch it on a mobile, and I know a lot of you guys watch on tablets and phones, so that's why I flip things. I did it for Far Cry... whatever the heck the future one and that's the reason it was flipped you guys kept asking though but the reason i flip cutscenes is because then it gets blocked on mobile sometimes just like the return of janet you can watch it on desktop but not on mobile it was about 30 years ago back in the oh there you go billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near stinking springs what Stinky Springs. I threw in with the kid oh, because Jesus. the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. My sensitivity. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. Jesus. I was God. heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Oh, got a shit. Funny, ha ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Shit, funny. My sensitivity. Jesus Christ breaking my neck over here. I was snapping my neck back and forth. Press O or 0 to see current objective. You heard that. You need to stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Cell shaded? Who's that? No, Is no one. Us? Sorry. You earn experience by killing enemies. You need it for leveling up and gaining extra abilities. I didn't know this game was so shit. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Hello, horses. Goodbye, horses. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Fire and will. Spread out, goddammit. They're coming from the rear. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. Sorry. Hey, have one behind us. Stay on it. Cover it. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, 
Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln oh, County. Ow, my face, you dick. One, two, three, four, okay. Oh. God damn you! Where's this last guy? What's this? A secret. Lincoln Country War is often considered county. One of the most famous examples of a range. If you want to read this, oh, whoops. If you want to read that, feel free to. That's kind of cool. Sweet. I found a secret. Oh, chicken! Oh. I leveled up because I saw a chicken. You have one skill point spent here now. Select any of the three skill categories. Gunslinger versus deal welding. Dual wield. Dual, 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 long to close quarters. Um, okay, there we go. Grab two dual wield revolvers. Yeah, sure, whatever. You did it! Chickens, chickens, keep your heads down. Keep your heads down, chickens. Gonna... Still, one of them reached the water tower. Matrix. You can avoid lethal shots only when your sense of death is fully charged. Bad idea. It would be what? a turkey shoot from up there. Avoid the bullet using A to dodge left or D to run right. There is no spoon. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. Whoa. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Of a oh, man. You do, you do. Indeed, darling. But where was I? <sighs> oh, yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps, or sod busters, what? or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Had enough? No, I've, I've just started. Ow. Alright, alright, get over it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Listen, sirs. If you could stop shooting me, I'd really appreciate that. I'm just trying to save my chickens. Ben, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. It's Back Santa door. Claus. We we'll you. cover him. Stop aiming, you idiot. Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. More chickens. Chickens, it's gonna be okay, chickens. Watch your play. Oh, sweet Christ. Sorry, I haven't played Call of Duty in a while. I'm not very practiced. Cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. Meet Billy the Kid. Poop on him. You guys mind it if I... It was a bit of a slog. But I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Yeah, I just want to get some ammunition. Do you mind? Oh, it's just cards. Okay. Good morning. Like that, I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I didn't close the door because I liked to I passed Dirty Dave. Hey, Daddy's Dirty Dave. In a trap. And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Kissing each other. Would you like to see a nugget? Pat Garrett was relentless. If you'd like to read, feel free to. I would read these if I wasn't recording. These are pretty interesting. Someone wiped pain across my face.
Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Acquaintances. Yeah, sort of. Acquaintance. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Dead or alive. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Damn it. Wow. What a waste. That's when Charlie got hit. Charlie! They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Calm down, Billy. We're acquaintances. Oh, I got another level. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Iron sight, slow down time. Take your time when you're aiming. Don't rush it. Do not rush it. When you aim a long or one handed weapon, you'll get a fraction of concentration like slow down. Oh, awesome. That'll help me a lot, actually. <sighs> I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally hey, put cocksucker. down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. Does that mean? Ow. It means that it was time to cut and run. <gasps> they got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. You want me to get the horses? You okay. That order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do? It? I'm more of a chicken man, but okay. Breach! Oh. Those poor sons of bitches are done for! Many would have fled in my place. But Good I horses. had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Hello, Hi, horses. What are you saying, old man? Jack <laughs> is this with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Oh, I'm continuing, lady. Please call me Silas, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Now, sorry, where sorry. Was I? I you were heading for the barn. Oh, Jesus. I'm making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Cause I'm wanting. Did over there. Cause I'm looking for horses. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Oh. Finally, <laughs> I had the stables within my reach. And an army of chickens to help me. Come on, chickens. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Anti heroes, they fight the law. Proud, handsome, ham. Challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Keep your enemy in focus using the mouse. Okay, I can see him. Can definitely see him. He's over there. I really want to look at all these chickens, though. These chickens are wonderful. I'm gonna shoot you right in your little handkerchief. Understand? Oh, shit. When your opponent reaches for the gun, press this to draw your weapon. Aim with that, and then shoot with this. Just give me, give me a second. Sorry, I gotta shoot. 
Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh. That's the day I died. <laughs> Dude, I, I forgot to tell you I'm a zombie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a dead man. In more than one way. For instance, I died that day. Oh, shit. I shot him right in his nose. Took it home as a trophy. Sorry. And killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. There are still were chickens over there, too. It's the best part of the story. There was one chicken, though. Didn't like the look of him. His name was Bobby. Come back here, Bobby Chicken. Bobby Chicken. Bobby Chicken. I shot him. Shot him right in the mouth. Damn it, Bobby Chicken. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. I let Bobby rest in the shade. He was sitting upright, like he was ready for some television. So, oh God, he, he wasn't dead. <laughs> I stepped inside, and <gasps> Pat Garrett was Last a horse. Thing I heard was Garrett's voice. Garrett's that's not, not Billy. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? And boy, that was just the beginning. He slowly took my pants off. I honorably killed him. Seems like it was a bit easy after all. Would you like to switch to hard difficulty? You can always adjust the difficulty level in the game options. No. Sorry. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. After I came to, the bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. Kid Rock, that is. We put on a rock show that blew off everyone's cowboy hats. It was the best night in my life. Then we got out of there in NASCAR race cars. It was amazing. Time lock mechanisms for bank vault doors were introduced in 1874 and were even considered quite ineffective deterrent to bank robbers. Two dual wielding control layouts are available. Akimbo for separate control of two guns and default for aiming down sights. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Four months after the arrest of Silas Curtis. He was with John Kinney's gang. And they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. I got a poop. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. I got a poop. He I shot poop. Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. I pooped on a hay already. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. I pooped in a hay. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape too. The man who pooped in the corner. Uh, all right. My weird. first order of business was finding a firearm. Hello, I pooped. I pooped. Oh, hello. Would you like to read a nugget? Well, of course you would. Here you go. Here's an abridged history of Billy the Kid, in case you were uninformed. And there you go. Also, I just want to do this really quickly. I know it's not a huge thing, but still. Did that lower anything? Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. 
Oh, oh, Jesus, it's floating. Ten gauge Whitney. Loud as thunder. Cut a man clean in half. Bob Ollinger's shotgun. Ollinger.